because I know it gets difficult. You try to explain this church. Some of you already, you try to explain this church to your friends and family. And they say things like, well, how many members you got? And you go, I really don't know because every time I go, it's just a few people. But each time I come, it's not always the same people there. So I don't know how many members we got. <laughs> don't it feel strange? <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you got a choir? Well, no. Well, how do y'all sing then? We all sing. <laughs> y'all got any musicians? No. What y'all? We just use tracks. And so they know they're figuring out, trying to figure out. You sing to tracks, and you don't have a praise team and no choir. Well, why do you want to see what the question they don't ask is? Well, why do you want to go to a church like that? But I know you can't answer it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just know I feel loved there. I feel accepted there. I feel I belong there. My father is there. (laughs) We live in a strategic part of the country. Milton Hershey used his business to provide a place for orphans, to build a school for people who could not do better for themselves. He blessed an entire town with his wealth. He modeled as one businessman God's intention for this whole nation. Could it be that God is raising up some people I don't know Milton Hershey's life. I don't know all of his story. But could it be that God is raising up some people with hearts like that? That want to live their lives for something greater than themselves. Can God entrust us with businesses and opportunities and know that we're not going to squander it upon ourselves? upon our dreams, upon our goals. That's why he has to get so much stuff out of us. Because if you still got this deep inner desire to fulfill all the things you never got to do, then he can't bless us the way he really wants to. I know this is different to come to a church and say, and because usually the point of coming becomes to get a blessing. And we come every week to church to get a blessing. And there's nothing wrong with that. But after a while, maturity has to kick in. I remember my last year of high school because I realized the light bulb came on. This is my last year of free. (laughs) It all kicked in in the senior year of high school. And I knew it, too. I enjoyed every day. I was that much conscious. Can you believe a 17-year-old that much self-aware that I realized this is it. I'm going to enjoy this final year of free. Because after this, (laughs) I got to pay for it all myself. I remember when we got my first place. And I didn't know how much toilet paper was. Stuff that you just take for granted. I never knew the price of a fork and a spoon and a knife. I never knew that mom and dad had to pay for the water. I thought that was crazy. You have to pay for water. And the same thing is in growing up in the house of God, maturity level kicks in and you begin to realize, okay, God, you're not just here for me. I appreciate those messages and sermons in the early years of my life. God is there for you. He's there for you. He's going to be there for you. But eventually God's going to say, are you going to be there for me? One of the prophets sitting in the temple And he heard, he heard the word of the Lord, who will go for us?